Hi there, everyone. Today we are going to be working on making um, shadows under images to make them look kind of curved like this, and to make them kind of look like they're popping out of your canvas in the background. And it's a pretty simple effect uh, to do. We're just going to be adding, using a couple of plugins and adding some shadows, and that's it. I was asked to do this um, by somebody on the YouTube channel. Um, I'm, I'm hoping this is what they meant. Um, I would try to reply back, but for some reason, I couldn't reply back. There was no reply back button. So, um, I do apologize about that. And if I'm not doing exactly what you asked, just go ahead and comment below. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go to File, New, and we're going to start a new image. And then we're going to go to the uh, Gradient tool. And just pick any gradient or whatever gradient you want to use. I'm going to use this kind of bluish gray one and I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and I'm going to grab my rectangular select tool and I'm just going to drag out a selection there and uh, it's kind of I don't know choose just choose this awful green here I'm going to press Control shift a to deselect. I'm going to go ahead and create another layer. Then I'm going to right click on this layer and I'm going to do alpha to selection. And then I'm going to go to select and then I'm going to go to grow and I'm going to grow this by 20 pixels. Then I'm going to switch my color to white. I'm going to drag and drop that on top. Control shift a to deselect. Control Z that and make sure you're clicked on the right layer. I apologize. Drag that color, control shift A to deselect. Now drag this layer below. And now we got a border. Let's go ahead and right click and merge down just like that. And press M on our keyboard for move. And let's move this kind of in the middle there. Let's right click and let's do the layer to image size. And then now let's go to filters, distort, and then let's go to curve bend. And if you guys had watched some of my earlier tutorials, I used Curve Bend. Um, seemed like I used it a couple times. I know in the 3D Mermaid Effect, um, one of my very first tutorials, I know I used it there. I'm going to go ahead and click on Lower here. And I'm going to click right here in the middle. And I'm just going to drag this curve down a little bit. The farther you go, the more harsher curve you're going to get. I might drag it down a little bit more than that. Press OK. And now you see that we got a pretty nice curved bend on uh, our little canvas we've made here. Let's go ahead and grab our perspective tool. And let's click on our image. And let's just take this these top corners, this left top hand corner, and let's just drag that in. Like that. And then let's take the top right hand corner and drag it in. Just like that. Maybe not so far because we don't want to shrink the image too much. Then let's drag these handles and let's just drag them straight out just like that. Drag that one straight out. Drag this one straight out a little bit more. And then let's press enter to transform it. And let's press M on our keyboard for our move tool. Let's just move that guy into place there. And let's uh, create a new layer. Press OK. And let's just drag that in the middle there. And let's reset our color, colors to black and white. And we're using black. And we're going to grab our paintbrush tool. And I'm going to raise the size up just a little bit. And on this new layer, I'm just going to come in here. And the brush I'm using is a soft brush. If you go to my brushes. You'll see it's a soft brush. I got the brush editor open. That way I could raise and lower the hardness of it. And we're just going to make some shadows on the edge of the image here. And you'll want to think on how you want to do your lighting. So I'm thinking that it's coming from this direction. So, of course, we'll see some shadows. And right here at this lowest point down here, the shadow will be harshest because it's closest to the ground. So we'll make it kind of darker right in there and then we'll keep it kind of light on the outsides. 
just like that. And that's pretty simple to do. So that's a kind of shadow effect to make kind of like a 3D effect. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new image. And we are going to go ahead and open an image as a layer. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's see here. Open this winter one here. And I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to press shift T on my keyboard. And I'm going to size this down. I'm going to hit enter to scale. And I'm going to press M on my keyboard, and I'm just going to grab and bring that picture in there, just like that. I'm going to click on my blend tool, and I'm going to come up here and going to find a nice light sky blue. And let's try that one. And I'm just going to not drag on there, control Z that. I'm going to click on my background, and I'm just going to drag up and create kind of a nice sky background and that should work um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do like we did before create a new layer and grab our paintbrush tool with black selected and we're just going to this time we're just going to lightly run around these edges here Control Z that I went a little bit too far. And we're going to just go along the bottom right hand corner edge here a tiny bit. Control Z that I went a little bit too far on that one also. Make these, and if you have to, lower your brush size to kind of get in right here on these corners. And that is a very subtle look, but it does make just a flat image look a little bit better. You could add some darker shadows in some places. And it's all about the lighting and the shadows. So the shadows give, uh, they trick your eyes to make the image look uh, like it's popping out of that image and that scene there. So there's that way um, to create that effect. And now we're going to do one more. And it's going to be the same as we did in the very first one. We're just going to open an image this time. And uh, let's see here. Let's open this image. And I'll do another long skinny one. And I'm just going to go to image. And I'm going to go to scale image and I'm going to divide this by two, press enter and I'm going to scale it down because it's a super huge image. There we go. That's a lot better. Let's go ahead and create a new layer just like that. Let's click on our image layer and let's go up to filters, ratio curve bend and uh, let's not bend it so harshly this time and let's press OK. And we got that bend. Now I'm going to go up to image. And I'm going to go to canvas size. I'm going to make sure that this is length. And I'm going to raise this canvas size up a little bit. And click on resize. I'm going to press M on my keyboard. And make sure the image is selected. And I'm going to drag that below, click on this image, and then I'm going to click on the perspective tool. I'm just going to kind of drag that back just a tiny bit. And drag these out just a tiny bit. Just like that. Make sure you lined up. Press enter. And on this background here we're just going to make a background for that and we'll stick with uh, dark colors control z that let's right click and let's do uh, layer to image size layer to image size
and that looks good let's go ahead and create another new layer let's go ahead and grab our paintbrush tool let's raise the size of it up and let's just create some shadows And on this image, you can see that we didn't bend it that much, so um, I probably won't put any shadows right there. We'll just keep them all on the outside here. And I'm going to carry these shadows over. I'm going to control Z that, control Z that last one. And I'm going to carry these shadows over just a little bit on these corners over here. we'll have darker shadows right in there and you could come through and you can clean those up with your eraser tool if you'd like just to kind of not have them so blotchy And there you go. And there's another cool looking little shadow effect. So that was pretty quick and pretty simple. And I hope that is what um, you were asking for the person that requested this. And I hope this helped a lot of other people when they're trying to create some kind of effects with their images like this. So please like and subscribe, comment, and have a 